This is a 64 square kilometer train with 260,000 tree with collision with rock and grass. And by the way, you can download this and test this on your system. I export this project for Windows 64 bit and Linux 64 bit, which the link of them is in the video description. To give you an idea how big is this train, it is a little bit smaller than the map of the GTA 5. I personally tested this on my older laptop with NVIDIA 960 and it ran around 30 frames per second. By the way, this train is not designed to work on really really old system. You can design train which also works on old system with this plugin but this demo is not one of them. First my goal was to create 1 million tree but I understood that I cannot fit 1 million tree in this map. Obviously, we can optimize this by drawing less geometry. In these days, I tested a lot this system and I debugged some important stuff. One thing I understand is that Godot physics system is not good with rotating and scaling collision shape. For now, I just don't rotate and don't scale the collision shape for tree. I just set its position to where tree is. Also, as I develop my plugin on Linux, now when I test that on Windows, it did not work. And it was a long way to make this working on Windows. Basically, C++ compiled for Linux and C++ compiled for Windows in some small situation are different. But at last, it is working. As I designed this map, I also understand a lot of other stuff. First one is that we need to improve grass brush system. You know, it is really amazing that we have grass painting, but for this map, it took me a lot of time to paint all of the grass. And at last, it is not good. In some region, we have a lot of grass, which caused some frame rate drop. And in some region, we don't have grass. Also, it would be nice if we add a noise grass brush, maybe for later. Another thing that I think it is necessary to add this train plugin is some kind of operator which can be applied to entire train. For example, this train is not smooth enough. Well, I can take my smooth brush and smooth all of the train piece by piece. But if we have a smooth operator, we can apply that on entire train and we are good to go. This was just an example for operator, but it can be extend to many other stuff like adding noise to train or applying erosion to train and the list continue. Also, having a road system is not bad, but all of these are for later. My goal is to stabilize and debug what we have now. And all of this stuff are some development tool. Also, one section which this train should be improved is brush system. Right now, the brush system does not work properly for lower end system. But that is also a development tool and I will take a look at it in future. The most important thing for me is now that the train can run and handle larger scale train and this is the main goal. Well, if you decide to make an open world game and you want to use or test my plugin, I recently add some wiki page on my GitHub. I really suggest to read them before I start to using this plugin. In following days, I will create tutorial about grass system. Also, I'll make the first release of the train with grass and I will put that in the download section on my github and if you read this wiki at least you get prepared for some stuff that will come later because knowing this stuff in wiki is really necessary and by the way if you download this and test this on your system send me a feedback 
We have also a Discord channel. The link of that is in the video description. Have a good time. Until the next video. Bye.